All right, shalom. La habakoria. Shal ya sha'allah. Peace to the elect of Israel. Started with the 144,000 elect men. 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners, Hebrew Israelites, who are scattered among all other nations. All right, shalom to all of you. Before we get started with this lesson, let's face the East and let's give the much due all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, with us. Kolo Imla, Abanawa, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, with us. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. And shalom to you, believers. To the Akim wa Akwat, which will be you, brothers, and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Abu Rasazad's lesson is edifying, plain upon the tables, and straight to the point. It's going to be a response uh, to this video that Dabu uploaded about how. A huge magnitude 7.6 earthquake rocks Japan. Evacuations ordered as over 40 as over 40 quakes strike western coastline. You hear that? Huge 7.6 magnitude earthquake rocks Japan. Evacuations ordered as over 40 quakes strike western coastline. All right. It reads on here, see, Japan dropped its highest level tsunami alert issued following a series of major earthquakes on Monday, but told residents of coastal areas not returned to their homes as deadly waves could still come. Hey, starting off the, the so-called New Year pretty right, man. Huge earthquakes. And now Barasa's 2024 is, is, we hope, it's the year of Jacob's trouble. All right. Let's see, the quakes, the largest of which had a magnitude of 7.6 started a fire and collapsed buildings on the west coast of Japan's main main island main island Hansu it was unclear how many people might have been killed or hurt all right it say Japan meteorological agency reported more than a dozen quakes in the Japan Sea off the coast of Ishi Ishikawa, if that's how you pronounce it, Salakia, and nearly per prefecture shortly after 4 p.m. So you see hey, four, over 40 earthquakes. Japan dropped its highest tsunami alert. They don't know how many people have been killed or hurt. Over 40 quakes. Uh, then, hey, this is that year. 2024. All right, before I play this video, okay, you know, because I ain't trying to get no copyright. I ain't trying to make money off of this. All right, copyright disclaimer under section 107. All right, you see it right there. All right, fair use. I'm using it for teaching. I'm using it for news reporting. Using the scripture, the Holy Bible. All right. All right. So let's play this clip. And this is Dabu 7. We have had a massive 7.5, 7.6 earthquake strike off the coast of Japan. This is reminiscent of what happened back in 2011. There was a tsunami warning issued 
initially here. It has been retracted, although an alert is still out there, and they are telling folks not to return home if you live on the coast in Japan here where this quake hit. They feel that some of these tsunami waves could still come in and cause damage. This is the Ishikawa Prefecture. Many homes damaged in this. Many buildings damaged. Lights out for tens of thousands of people. And as of right now, this is a look at some of the damage that has been done. You can see roadways completely buckled and snapped in half here. Homes have crumbled. You can see other parts of roadways have just given away. People trapped and rescue efforts are ongoing. So this is an ongoing situation. There has been over 40 major earthquakes strike in this area on the western side of Japan. This is opposite of where we saw the quakes in 2011. Nonetheless, Japan susceptible to letting off these big quakes. And you can see here, this is right off of where we have a cut going right through Japan. But this is some of the latest. Wanted to make people aware of the issue. I will continue to update as I get information. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for more and hit that subscribe button as well. This has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all. All right. So let's get the scriptures. Let's see. He's going to blue the Bible right quick. Blue letter Bible. Here we go. Um, let's get Matthew twenty four. And we're gonna get straight to the point. Um, all right, the book of Matthew, chapter twenty four, verse seven and eight. So verse seven in the KJV. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes, and earthquakes in diverse places, earthquakes in many parts of the world. Japan is one of many uh, places in diverse places getting hit with earthquakes. Right, so-called natural disasters. Um, verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All right, so we can get that in NLT very quick. All right, the New Living Translation. Nation will go to war against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and pestilences. Mind you, they left it out in this version. There will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. To this day, there's many places worldwide getting hit with record reporting, like record high uh, earthquakes, man. All right. Japan is, is one of many examples. Nation will go to war against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. Verse 8. But all this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. All right, with more to come. All right. Let's get um let's get second edges very quick. I'm trying to make this short, straight to the point. Let's see one through four. Okay. So second Ezra's chapter nine, verse one through four in the Apocrypha, KJV. He answered me then. And said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, 
And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand. It is the very same time within the highest Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai will begin to visit. Right in another version, it says, "Judge will begin to visit the world which he made." So some of the signs that we're gonna measure diligently in itself when these signs come to pass. That our power has told us before so we can understand that it is the very same time when where our power is about to judge the world he made, right? Check this out, verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, right? Diverse places, many parts of the world. Verse 4. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So today's topic, earthquakes. All right. These are many signs that's coming to pass. Right. These are some of the signs that we're seeing come to pass that we watchmen, the prophets of Yahweh Bashmi Osha, Lord willing, we are those men, are measuring diligently. Alright? So we can know that we in those times within the highest Yahweh Bashmi Osha will begin to visit to judge the world which he made. Great judgment is coming to this place, especially Babylon the Great America. Great judgment, great deaths is coming to this place. I'm going to say it again. 2024, we hope it's the year of Jacob's trouble. All right. But yeah, earthquakes, man. Many parts of the world. So let's get... Uh, I'm going to get one more. Let me close it out. Isaiah 29 and verse... Uh, Six. All right, the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, KJV. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts of armies with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So the Lord is visiting this place, showing many signs that's coming to pass that he is getting ready to open that, that window of an overflowing mass wave of judgments, man. We them times, Israel, Yahshua Allah, we them times. We about, to, we about to enter or transition into another phase. And Abu Ras is out that next phase is this year, the so-called New Year 2024, Jacob's Trouble, man. Expect to see earthquakes, tempests, storms, so-called natural disasters that we never seen before take place here, man. It's about to get real, real spooky. About to be a beautiful nightmare out here. Alright. I'm gonna end it off with this. I'm gonna get straight to the point with the NLT. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 33, New Living Translation. But when all these terrible things happen to them, happen to who? Non believing Israelites. You uh, the the uh, the, the two thirds and you other nations. Everyone that goes against prophecy. Everyone that goes against the words of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Everyone that going against his truth. Scoffers, mockers, and etc. But when all these terrible things happen to them, as they certainly will, then they will know a prophet has been among them. 
I but Ross is like, this is a year where the manifestation of the true sons of Yahweh Bashmi Shai and the, the manifestation of the true prophets of the Lord is manifested. Abarazza. Expect to see a lot more happen this year. Abarazza. We sincerely hope 2024 is the year, all right, where the world shall know our Creator the way how the way how we know Him. The Lord is known by His judgments, right? He is the King of Terrors. He is the King of Terrors. Al Shadia. All right. So I brought you out the lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. I just want to do a quick little hit on this. All right. Earthquakes in diverse places, man. All right. So uh, we will close out by giving the much to do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Hadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much to respect to you since the Akim that's laboring in the works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwat, which will be your brothers and few of my sincere sisters who subscribe to this truth. Kwam Yashallah.